Good morning, friends. I thought I'd vlog today for today's Vlogmas video. I just finished filming. I got up early to film and was able to um, a little bit, but then the girls got up like really early today, like er way earlier than they normally do, and I'm just like, uh, <laughs> so yeah, at least I was able to film what I needed to. I needed to film my keto update, and I don't like to film that around them, and I don't like for them to listen to that. I'm just really conscious about diet and eating and you know, weight and all that stuff. I don't discuss that at all around them because I think those kinds of issues start really early in little girls and I, I don't, they're just not at an age where they need to even think about that kind of stuff or even know about that kind of stuff. So I usually have to do it while they're either in school or get up early and do it. And so today I got up early girl and they decided to get up early. So I have a lot of calls today. The girls are still in school. They, their last day is in on, today is, what is today? Wednesday the 16th. Their last day of school is on Friday, but they're done with all their testing. Like they had all their finals yesterday and Monday. Did great with that. So now they're looking for the elves. Hi. You guys are looking for the elves? Yeah, it's yeah. really hard. <laughs> I was right. They're looking for the elves. <laughs> Wait, huh? Oh my goodness. Yep, there's Jack. Thank I'll show you guys Jack in a second. So my office, look at it. It's empty. You got the paint on the wall. It's almost um, Christmas. Yeah, it is almost Christmas. Ava likes to get up and immediately get dressed. Um, Sara likes to go to digital learning in her pajamas. And I let her, because I work on my pajamas too. It's just nice up at the top, party at the bottom. So <laughs> I just, <laughs> like, oh, if I didn't film, I would have my pajamas on. But anyways, um, so that is my plan for today. And yeah. Let's get it started. I have my light up here because it helps with filming when I'm filming in front of my computer, but there's one of our elves, Jack Jingle Hop. Ava's hair took me six hours to do yesterday, but it's so pretty. Isn't it? Looks so cute. Turn around, baby. This way. Looks nice. So I'm gonna make my husband breakfast real quick because he has to run into his office for a little bit today. He usually works from home, but he has to go into the office today, so for a little bit. So I'm gonna make that. It's too early for me to eat. And the girls don't like to eat when they first get up. They like to, I don't know, they like just like to wait. Usually they eat in between their class breaks or they'll sneak and eat a little bit in class. Yeah, they, they just don't like to eat when they first get up. Yeah, the girls are playing with Snapchat filters on my phone. They love to do that. School starts in, let's see, 15 minutes. So they just are, this isn't normal. Usually we wake up five minutes before school starts. They do. They like to sleep in, honey. And so they'll wake up like five minutes before school starts. Uh, if they wake up like 10 minutes before school starts, then sometimes they'll eat breakfast, but okay. usually it's only five minutes. So this is the current temporary setup because as you know, they were in my office. So Ava's right here and my dining room. Sarah's in here, Christmas boxes, and this is all the stuff that was in my office. So this just hopefully will be done before Christmas. That's the goal. All right, y'all, got my coffee. And now I'm gonna get a little bit of work done. Office update first. I am going to, uh, I have to get the paint and then my dad is going to paint, help me paint, me and Charles paint. It's not gonna take much. Um, any tips, please leave them. As a matter of fact, by the time this video goes up, prayerfully will be painted. My desk is just about done. It has to be assembled in here, but we're gonna paint it out in the garage first. Um, and then I'm gonna shampoo the carpets. That's gonna be another video. So all of that is coming up in Vlogmas. My goal is to have all this done, girl, in one week. I don't know how but that's the goal. It'll be so much easier once the girls are out of digital learning. It'll just be so much easier. It just takes up a lot of my time because I'm like hopping back and forth. They're in class right now, but they're in two classes where they don't really need me to sit there. Sometimes every teacher is different. They have so many teachers and like they sometimes just need encouragement from me and I want to sit be there for that encouragement. So, you know, it's hard enough being away from their friends and Anyway, so I'm just now sitting down. It's a 10.45 with my coffee, and I'm gonna try to get a little bit of work done. I have meetings, a lot of meetings today. I have a meeting from 12 to two about uh, work, like business. When I say meeting, like I'm in like a couple, of, not a couple, but one big mastermind group where I'm learning about continuing to grow my business. I do have a business outside of YouTube. Some of you guys don't know that, but I do. I sell online courses. I'm an online educator as well. 
as you know doing YouTube so plus I need to do some video planning for my other channel moms and money because I kind of fell off a little bit <laughs> just got so busy so I have meetings today and then I have a PTO meeting for the school t um, this evening as well at four and I have no idea what we're gonna eat for dinner tonight but girl we're just gonna roll with it yeah a couple hours have passed I'm on a zoom right now but I'm just like kind of listening in the girls are upstairs playing homework's done digital learning's done girl these boxes though I need to kind of figure out what's from Santa and then what I need because there was some stuff that I ordered from Amazon that I need like some keto stuff and stuff like that so I'm gonna do a quick unboxing also I ordered my new camera I got my new planner so let's just do a quick little unboxing luckily I opened the right box first so I needed more carpet cleaner I'm gonna clean the carpet in my office. I needed my keto granola for sure. And my maple syrup. That is something one of the Christmas gifts from the girls. And so is this extra cleaner right here. So I guess oh I thought I ordered two things of maple syrup, but I guess I didn't. Look, oh I did. Oh here it is. Boom. Got what I need now. I gotta find my camera. Y'all, I am so excited about my planner. I decided to go with the cloth and paper. This is my first time doing a disc bound planner. So I'm excited about that. I feel like I need to do a whole separate video on this, but I'll open it up. And I think this one is my camera, but let me open it up and see. Yay! I'm so excited about this. Uh, Y'all, I've been using the same camera that I bought from Costco how many years ago now? Five years ago, five and a half years ago. And I'm not one of those people who has to get a new iPhone every year and has to upgrade, you know, and get the latest of the latest every single time. If it works, I'm gonna keep it and use it until, you know, it doesn't anymore. And unfortunately, the camera that I'm currently filming on, my good old handy, G7X. It's still an excellent camera, but I've dropped it a couple times and I broke, like I literally have to tape the battery in it. And so I knew it was time for me to upgrade, even though I'm still going to use this camera. I am looking forward to having this because there's been a couple of times I've been out and the battery falls out, falls out and then I lose the current footage that I'm recording in with. So I'm so excited. This was a big investment. I like to, I choose about when I'm going to buy equipment and stuff for my business strategically. Like I look over my P and L and see when's the best time to look at it. Like I really treat it like it's a business. It is a real business, you know, and make decisions based on like my needs and not my wants, just like I try to do in my real life all the time. So I'm really, really excited about this new camera. I can't wait to play with it, even though I hope it's not too much of a learning curve because I'm not, you know, a photographer or a professional, <laughs> like the gurus say. So I'm really looking forward to this. All right, y'all. So several days have passed. <laughs> Okay, I'm horrible at vlogging, but between digital learning, my girls have them finals and testing, it was just crazy. <laughs> I just had to focus on them. Now I'm getting ready to open up my camera and also my planner. So I thought that I would, you know, come on camera and we can open them together for the first time. So the new camera that I decided to get was the Canon EOS M6 Mark II. I've been doing research on cameras now for the past probably two years. <laughs> and this is the camera that I have been wanting to get for the last, I would say, six months or so. I didn't realize I bought the one with the viewfinder. I'm never ever gonna use this. I should probably sell it. But it, this camera does not come with a viewfinder. Okay, and for those of you who are not other YouTubers, I'm not even a photographer. I don't claim to be. I'm not good at that kind of stuff. I just want a camera that is going to give me a good quality video. Oh my gosh, this is way heavier than my G7X. Way heavier. It's nice. I like this. That's cool. Yeah, it is a lot heavier though. Okay, where is my lens? I can't wait to learn more about this camera. The main reason why I wanted to get a new camera was because I wanted to upgrade my audio. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I wanted to be able to add a mic and you can do that with this camera right here. You can add a mic, which is cool. I'm gonna get a screen protector on this one. I do not have a screen protector on my G7X and the screen is cracked, but girl, I'm still working with it. And here is my charger. Cool, where's the battery? 
Let's see. There it is. I wish they used the same battery. That would be cool, but they don't. Yay! I'm excited about my new camera. I need to learn. I usually just watch YouTube videos to learn how to like the correct settings and everything. But this is definitely, I'm going to, you know, increase my video quality for you guys. And I'm really excited about that. All right, so here is what I think most of you are gonna be interested in, which is my planner of choice this year. I went with cloth and paper. So let's get ready to open that. All right, so I decided to go with cloth and paper this year. I am new to this company. I've heard a lot of great things about it, but I am new to this company because I am new to having a disc bound planner as opposed to like a bound planner. This will be my first time going into the disc world. This world is huge. It is definitely like a rabbit hole you're jumping down into. If you're new, it is a little bit overwhelming, but I feel like I made a good choice. I wanted something different for this year. I wanted something that I was felt would help with my productivity. So I wanted something different. I had been using Erin Condren for many years and I went back and forth between an inkwell press and cloth and paper, but I decided at the last minute to go with cloth and paper because she had a really good Black Friday sale and I wanted to take advantage of it. And plus this is my first time getting a really neutral planner um, as opposed to so like so many colors. So I'm excited about that too. All right, so this is my first time opening. Like I said, I just cut the, the tape. Oh, packaging is pretty. It's very, very minimalist. The aesthetic of everything that she sells is very minimalistic and I really like that. Um, Cause I think I'm just entering a phase in my life where I just want things to be more simple and it's not all about being color coded. You just want the simplicity, minimalistic style. I just really like everything that she sells. It's like black and white or like a nude neutral color. So here are the clear discs that I bought. I'm so excited about, the whole planner is gonna be clear and you'll see what I'm talking about when I open it. Oh, she gave me some dot stickers. I did not order these. That was nice of her. Like again, I said, like I said, everything is nude. Everything is nude from this company. And I really think that's cool. I wanna see what they look like. You know, I'm a sucker for stickers. I had stopped decorating my planner with stickers like a while ago. Well, first of all, I, I just picked up my planner again, maybe in the beginning of November. I had stopped using it for like a long time, most of quarantine because you know, we were home. Oh my goodness, they're all different shapes. I love, love this. I have dots, hexagons, squares. It says tape. Yep. Uh, corners and drops. Love that. That was a really nice freebie. I did not order those, so that's that was nice. Now, her stuff is expensive. I'm not gonna lie. They're pricey. But, like I said, she had a really good um, Black Friday sale, and I wanted to just try it, so here I am. Let me see here. Yeah, I ordered the, these plastic disc mounds, the, the disc mount rings, the data planner, and the notebook cover, and I'll show you guys. So, print interview questions. It just says, thank you. Cool, 10% off your next order. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so let's get into the good stuff, okay? Let's get into it. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I don't even wanna like mess it up. Hold on, let me put take a shot for Instagram. Okay. I took the images, the story for Instagram. So let me go ahead and open it up. Even though this tissue paper is so pretty, I don't want to like rip it. Ooh. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm sure there's nothing else in there. There isn't. Here she is. Isn't she a beaut? First of all, these, wait a minute. This is not what I wanted. Wait. Let me open it and see, because I thought this was clear and not frosted. Because if it's frosted, I don't, I don't want it to be. I didn't want it, expect it to be frosted. I thought it was going to be clear. No, it's frosted. Wait, is it clear or frosted? No, it is clear. I can't tell. No, it's clear. It's frosted. It's definitely frosted. I thought it was clear. That's not very clear on her website. It looks. It looked clear, because if I knew it was frosted, I would not have ordered it. But the true test is this paper quality girl. So basically what a disc bound planner is, you can like Frankenstein this planner to make it however you want to, because this is like a vertically weekly lined that I, that I ordered with these discs. 
and you put it together like so. But if I wanted to add to this, I can. If I wanted to take out something, I can. You can do all of that with, with a disc bound planner. I know many of you guys use the happy planner. I'm just praying that the paper quality is there. It feels pretty good. Hmm. I don't know about this paper quality, y'all. I'm so snotty when it comes to paper. I just don't want anything to leak. I want nothing to leak at all. Hmm. All right, let me put everything together and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. I'm missing one. Are you kidding me? I only have eight. I could have sworn it said nine on the website. Are you kidding me? Ugh. I hope I didn't regret this purchase. I really do. I forgot that I had bought these Martha Stewart rings from Staples a couple of months ago and I'm glad I bought them because they are bigger than these rings. These rings are so much smaller and I wouldn't be able to fit extra paper in here if I wanted to buy extra paper. So these were only like a couple of dollars. I think they were like two or three dollars and they're gold. I think it'll look pretty with the clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these in. So I put these on here and I also notice another problem with this is like I said these are the wrong size I'm looking on my receipt here I was supposed to receive one and a half inch disc bound rings and these are not even close to being one and a half inch these are these are just a little over one inch Wait, yeah see one and a half is supposed to be over here these Martha Stewart ones are one and a quarter and that's what these are and so you can see the size difference. So I emailed them. Hopefully their customer service is good. I don't know because I'm very new to the company, but a lot of people in the planner community use, you know, the, the planner community is a tight knit community. A lot of people out there. And so I'm assuming that she has a good customer service. So we'll see. But I don't know. I like the gold. Do I love the gold? I don't know. I don't like the frostedness on here. I mean, it is clear when it's like this but when it's up like this it's kind of frosted very modern did i think i would go with the dismount this year i don't know i did not think so do i love the printing i mean it's okay no it doesn't like the printing itself is not oh gosh i found like sound like such a snot don't i um like for instance if you're looking at this like this box it's like i don't know the printing, it's okay. Is the quality as nice as I was expecting? Mm, I don't know, cause this is pretty, this was pretty pricey. This was not a cheap investment at all. Even with the sale, it was still expensive. It was still like, I wanna say over 60 bucks for this. So that's, it's an investment. I mean, you know, Aaron Condren's expensive. Happy planners are pretty inexpensive, but their paper quality isn't there. So I'm hoping that this will work for me. Um, this is a vertical planner. This is not an hourly pl planner. And I was used to using an hourly with Aaron Condren, but I think I like this setup where I can just like have my daily to-do list, check them off, have my priorities for the week, I can do like a top three priorities for the day and then like my to-do list, the rest of my list underneath, I could split this box up. I like the freedom that it comes with this as opposed to just like the thin, narrow, hourly that you get for the weekly layout, the vertical weekly layout in Erin Condren's. Now she had an hourly 
as well for 2020, but I didn't see it for 2021. So I just got this to see how I'm gonna like it. Now, of course, I'm gonna use it, girl. I'm not gonna buy another planner because this was $60, honey, and this was a uh, Merry Christmas to me. So <laughs> yeah, this will just have to do. I like it so far. So far, so good. Like you can see more of what I was talking about. Like it looks kind of grayish. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but the, where it's all black, it's not, I don't know, it looks like kind of faded a little bit. I think the, that's the word I'm looking for. It's faded a little bit. There's contacts in here and important. I like, this is like one of my favorite sheets on this planner is this monthly, like kind of like a monthly checklist, like the things you wanna do this month. I think this is great when you're trying to plan out your months instead of being so micro-focused on the day and weeks. Any bills that are due, important dates, your goals that you wanna achieve for the month. And then it's good, you can go back and kind of look at that. So I, that was a big selling point for me. I really, really like this layout of the page. So I don't know, we'll see how it works, y'all. What are you guys using for 2021 as far as the planner goes? So many options now, nowadays. Another one that I looked at was, was the Moxie planner. So I'm hoping that this layout is gonna work for me and this aesthetic of it. Cause I don't know about these rings, girl. I gotta get used to that, so. All right, y'all, that is it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for Vlogmas. Make sure you give this a thumbs up. It really, really helps my channel out. I love you guys so much. And since you watched till the end, I have a surprise giveaway for you guys, okay? It's going to be a $50, a $50 gift card. Um, and all you have to do to enter is click the link below. You need to be subscribed to my channel. Follow me on Instagram for extra points. All that, all the, uh, or extra entries. All of the details will be in the description box. I love you guys. Happy holidays. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.